couldn't do it without falling apart. Hi guys, can you guess where I am? I'm back in Atlanta, um, but I'm actually here for Michelle Obama. But since I'm here, I'm doing a business meeting first thing this morning. So I woke up and put on like just work face. Like it just freshens up the eyes, does my eyebrows, little mascara. I didn't put on any foundation, no powder, which I pro I, I forgot my powder or I would have. <laughs> um, and you know, just let my hair out. Basic outfit, Saturday meeting, don't need anything special, just my planner. As y'all know, goes everywhere. Um, I got a new planner, by the way, because this one is just not functioning for me anymore. Um, I think it's too involved now. I need something simple. So, yeah. Anyways, let me do this meeting. Hi guys, I'm on my way to see Michelle Obama. I forgot my lipstick. I have no lipstick. Y'all know how much lipstick I have? I have no lipstick. So I just did like a really basic face that doesn't necessarily require lipstick. I'm just gonna put on my chapstick. Anyways, see you guys there. So the audio got messed up here and so I'm just going to talk over it so that I can tell you what I was saying but I was showing you guys this is my wet hair this is the first gel in the wash and go series it was completely wet I had just done it and then I was gonna take 30 minutes before sitting under my hooded dryer which is what I normally do 
So you guys are getting a sneak peek of Sunday's video when I show you the first gel in the Watch and Go series. And it looks great. I have to say the look of this one is wonderful. But I was also saying that I am back so late. It was like 9.30 p.m. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to meal prep. So what I did on the way home was I went to Trader Joe's and I did something I would normally not do. I got a bunch of frozen food to get through the week. I still made it as healthy as possible. Frozen food is not that healthy for you, usually because of the preservatives, the sodium content, all that jazz. But I did go ahead and get some easy to make stuff for lunch, dinner, and breakfast. And I only had to go to two stores. So for breakfast, I decided to go ahead and stick with just simple yogurt. And I am pretty particular about yogurt. Sometimes I will, you know, give myself quarter, but nine times out of 10, I go to one of my local health food stores and I get grass fed yogurt. And that is so important. If you're going to eat yogurt, you want to get healthy yogurt. Um, yogurt that doesn't have a bunch of sugar, doesn't have a bunch of ingredients. It really should have only two ingredients, uh, milk and cultures to, you know, make it Greek yogurt. So this is my Greek yogurt. I got a couple of brands. I like Maple Hill is one of them. This is um, grass fed Greek yogurt. And I was also saying you need to have the fat. Um, don't get 0% fat yogurt. In order to feel satiated in full, you need fat with your protein. So I just get whole milk yogurt. And the ingredients in this are definitely just milk and live cultures. Um, and then I was just gonna put that with granola and a banana for breakfast. And that would just be my entire breakfast. That's all I need to feel full for a while. And it's a great post-workout meal. And then for lunch, I went ahead and got a few things to just put together in containers. So first thing is these Trader Joe's chicken strips, and they're literally just grilled. Um, they're chicken, potato starch, oil, and that's and they're grilled on a grill, right? And that's pretty much it. Um, they are just chicken breast meat, uh, rib meat, and it is hormone-free, antibiotic-free uh, meat. And it's like the best I can do from a frozen standpoint, and it's not expensive. Like, And then to go with that, I got some instant brown rice. This is how Trader Joe's comes. It comes frozen because it's just freeze dried. So it literally is brown rice and bran oil. That's it. I got some romaine lettuce and some pico de gallo. And it's my favorite one to buy because it really is few ingredients in it. It's the jalapenos, the tomatoes, the onion, and um, some lime juice and citric acid for preservative. It will go by bad fast. Um, but I just put that together, those four ingredients in a container. And that is my lunch for the week. It's still cheap. Um, it's not too expensive coming from Trader Joe's. This would probably be really expensive at other stores to get quality frozen ingredients that I could use for meal prep for lunch. But that'll get me through all five days. The chicken is a portion of five. The rice is a portion of six. And the pico de gallo doesn't have many calories. And then for dinner, I just went ahead and purchased a frozen meal. Um, Trader Joe's has a couple of different versions of fried rice. And I went with the chicken fried rice. Now, the ingredients in this one aren't the greatest. I'm aware of that. This is me making a concession here. Um, but it's good for what it is. It's mostly the ingredients I would use anyway to make a fried rice. Not too many bad preservatives. It's definitely in the healthier end of frozen food. And it's freeze dried. It doesn't have maltodextrin, etc. It's It's... It's as good as you're going to get from Frozen. And it's a portion for three and a half, but I'll probably just eat it half one night, half another night because my calorie intake can take that. Um, and I might give something to my boyfriend too. So that'll be that. Um, but that's the only dinners I need because I will, I have a meeting and I have two events to attend this week. So I only need two meals for dinner because I'm also going out of town come Friday. So that was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then for snacks, I always have popcorn at my desk, boxes of popcorn and nuts. So that's all I needed. Like I said, it's not the best. It's not really healthy, but I didn't have much time. And this is like a go-to easy, healthy 
I'm still not going to fast food. I only spent thirty dollars at Trader Joe's, and then the yogurt I got two of those containers was ten bucks. So I spent a total of forty dollars for the week in food, um, and it is what it is. Like I said, my budget is sixty, but I'm going out of town over the weekend. I'll probably spend the rest of that there. My travel budget is different, but yeah, I just did the best I could with what I had. Like I said, the yogurt is ten dollars in itself for two of those containers, but it's really important to me to get the right type of yogurt. If I'm going to eat dairy, I want to make sure that it is as natural as possible, right? Hormone free, antibiotic free, grass fed cows. Um, I care about what I put in my body as far as meat goes. I grew up eating farm raised meat. And so I really do care about that. Um, but that's it. I said plenty more, but you know, this clip did not come out right. So the sound is not on it. But after this, I just dried my hair and went to sleep. Like I said, I didn't get back so late, but it was a fruitful trip. Michelle Obama was amazing. I couldn't record her because um, they were filming it and they didn't want us recording. So I couldn't record her. Um, Gail King was the moderator. Michelle Obama is hilarious. I didn't know how funny she was. Her timing is great. Um, and I'm really happy I got those tickets months ago. And I just felt so uplifted. We even got to see a five minute clip of the Obama children speaking, which I realized I really hadn't heard much from those girls. So it was really like fun and interesting to hear them actually speak. And, you know, it was uplifting. She had so much wisdom to share. And I just felt so enriched. I felt like it was just a, a, a intimate conversation and it was worth the entire price of the ticket. Plus that business meeting I had earlier on Saturday was great. It may prove quite fruitful for me in the next couple of months. So it was a very great trip for me. Got to see baby Jace again. It was just great. And I'm happy I did it. Even though I got back so late, uh, it was worthwhile. So that's it for this video, for this vlog. I won't be doing another vlog this month, but there'll be more to come as usual on the channel. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like in the comments box below. Let me know what you did for Mother's Day. And until the next time, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and the blog. Thanks for watching and listening, guys. Funny Bye. How much you mean to me. I can get my head around how we used to be.